I think it's important to recognize that uh, xenophobia and xenophobic attacks are criminal. So saying it's criminality, like what the minister has said, and maybe Cyril Ramaphosa as well, I'm talking about Lindio Sasulu, is inaccurate. Let's call it for what it is. It's a xenophobic sentiment that expressed itself through violence. Shameful xenophobic violence in South Africa, people killed and hundreds displaced in KZN, and threats of a lot more to come after the elections. This thrilling SMS, chilling SMS widely circulated. Neighboring diplomats say our leaders are to blame, their political rhetoric fanning the flames of xenophobia. What happened over the weekend, we believe, with the information available to us, was pure criminality. Criminality? Attacking foreigners again, chasing them away, and the minister calls it criminality. Maybe that's why we are not tackling this successfully. Why can't we just call it for what it is? Outright xenophobia against our fellow Africans and stoked by our political leaders. Uh, as far as we are concerned, um, the displaced are back in their areas and they're quite comfortable. And, um, you know, nothing has flared up until now. And the police is investigating the reason why uh, the Malawi nationals were displaced from the area. We, we believe uh, that the displacement uh, emanated as a result of a criminal activity. And uh, the criminal activity that took place um, was by a few, which resulted in the suffering of the large amount of uh, Malawian nationals. Um, goods were stolen from a South African local. And the South African local had asked the uh, Malawian national to return the goods and to be compensated for the loss of productivity. And that did not take place according to the promise. So this, therefore, um, this incident uh, caused a, a kind of a flare amongst many people out there. And I suppose um, that's the reason why the Malawi nationals were then displaced. The main reason is we have already heard about this for several years and several times that migrants are taking our jobs. Do you understand? That is the main concept behind all this. Why Malawians are working, where well, us we are not working. Do you understand? Why a certain community employs Malawians, why not us? Do you understand? That is an issue here. Well, I think, you know, we, we, we need to look back at our, the difficulties of our socioeconomic conditions where the triple challenges of uh, unemployment, poverty, and inequality comes in, where one has to level the, uh, you know, uh, the, the playing fields whereby we can get this economic um, uh, stability. Are we going to be saying it's xenophobic attacks or is it just attacks on foreign nationals? However, they are criminals who are mobilizing other criminals to target foreign nationals in order to uh, meet uh, their criminal objectives. You know, there are more than 70 million South Africans. The majority of South Africans are well-loving people. They live on a day-to-day -day basis with foreign nationals. Uh, we work with them here at Derko. They work everywhere in the country. They um, participate in economic activities. They participate in social activities. So the majority of South Africans are not involved in violence or criminal activities against foreign nationals. And that is a fact.